10 tips, 10 days. Tip number six. Be really clear about your vision. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday we came to the summit and we played, we yodel. We yodeled out our joy of reaching the summit. You perhaps even overcame a little bit of, um, I don't know what to call that, hesitance. Let's call it hesitant to, you know, to, to do something as childlike, not childish, mind you, childlike as yodel. But it was a good way of expressing how you felt getting to that summit. But now you've calmed down a bit and now you actually take in what it is like to be on that summit. To realize that you've actually made it here. On, onto this milestone and imagine what it's like to to breathe in deeply and fill your lungs with crisp cool mountain air clean air too what it is like to feel to hear the wind rushing up against the mountain sides the mountain slopes and then feel it tussle your hair and tug at your jacket what it is like to smell the damp earth and damp rock. What is it like to sit on one of those rocks and just take in the view. That view of mountains as far as the eye can see. Mountains that you are now wondering, can I get there? Can I get to that summit as well? After all, you've reached this one. You start to think of this summit as a milestone on your way to the summit that you actually want to reach. The summit that represents your vision. And now that you've reached this milestone, this summit, you feel much more certain that realizing your vision is actually possible. And it's important to every now and again, not every now and again, regularly go back to that vision and be as clear as possible about what it looks like. Not just for yourself, well, for yourself when you are, uh, when your vision is a vision for life as you want to live it. But if it's for a business, you have to be clear about your vision, not just for yourself, but for everybody who works with you in that business. And that means that you have to get crystal clear about it. How will you know that you've reached your vision? But more importantly, what, what does it actually look like? What are you striving for? Why are you striving for it? What will happen? when you realize that vision and then you have to make sure that everybody gets inspired by that vision everybody in your business needs to be on board as they say all noses have to point in the right directions and i'm sure there's other uh, platitudes that we can use as well but the clearer you can get the clearer you are about your vision, what your vision looks like, the easier it is to be inspired by it, the easier it is to be driven by it and to get out of bed every single morning and make sure that actions you take today take you closer to that vision. So I find a good way to stay connected to my vision is to write it out or to draw it. I have, actually I have a drawing of my vision that every now and again I recreate and that I copy and then hang up in different places in my house so that when I brush my teeth, whether consciously or subconsciously, I'm looking at an image of my vision first thing I see when I swing my legs out of my bed is a drawing of my vision for my life and my business. 
it's on my vision board. It's on different in different places. And I've written it out too. And that is something, as I'm talking to you, that uh, I'm going to do more often. Because there's something about writing. I love writing. I write in a journal every single day. Or almost every single day. But um, it's been a while since I wrote out the vision that I have for my life and my business. So write it out. Take some time while sitting on that summit. Take out your notebook and your pen or pencil and write out in as great as a detail as you can the vision you have for your life, your career, your business, or all three of them. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.